Hey, uh, welcome to Nelson Photo. My name is Javi and uh, I'm going to be uh, talking about some black and white film today. So we're going to compare the uh, T-Max by Kodak, the P3200, against Ilford's Delta 3200. Both extremely high speed films. Uh, I, I went to Balboa Park. I used two different cameras with the same focal length and uh, just sort of tried to get the same composition for, uh, for every shot. And here we go. Um, here we have uh, so a shot looking up through the trees. Uh, and right off the bat, the Delta is on the left. Uh, you can notice the wider latitude, uh, you know, shadows and midtones are still pretty much intact. Uh, whereas with the Kodak T-Max, uh, it's pretty crushed and extremely contrasty. And you can also notice the higher amount of grain uh, that's super prominent. Um, another shot and with Delta on the left, T-Max on the right. And what's interesting about this shot is the, if we look at this Topo Chico bottle, um, you know, the, the logo is, has a really bold red and how this T-Max renders the, this, what would be a, a bold red um, is really interesting. Whereas the Delta really lightens it up um, and yeah, you know, uh, if we look at, uh, my hairless leg here, um, yeah, just check out that grain. But also, uh, you know, I feel like T-Max has quite a bit of sharpness, um, or perceived sharpness rather. And these two shots, uh, I definitely prefer if I had to pick a favorite. I, I really like the way the uh, the Delta 3200 looks here on the left. Um, it's very pleasing to my eye, at least, and very interesting trees. I'm not sure what the story is with these, but they look wild. Uh, moving along. Oh, this is a pretty cool one uh, this root system working its way through this chain link fence but the Delta is uh, it's a good-looking image but the the T-Max on the right it's amazing seeing all the striations and it really comes out tack sharp um, even being a a super high-speed film with immense grain. It's pretty sick. Um, but yeah. Oh, this is a pretty uh, interesting shot. Uh, right off the bat, if we look at just the sky and uh, yeah, you can really get a good idea for the grain structure of that T-Max. In, in a, a white sky, um, it's still very much present um, the, uh, these little ridges along this wall are interesting because you can still see some of those, uh, sharp points here and the Delta, it, it's just an overall flatter image, which is, is good in the sense that you can, you can make it contrasty in post, whether that's digital or, um, you know, in the dark room. But uh, yeah, very interesting. And these are both 3200 speed, uh, extremely high uh, ASA or ISO. Um, really happy with this shot. Uh, I've, I definitely have a preference. Um, I love the T-Max, the way it rendered, uh, because of this extra sharpness here with uh, 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 the California Tower. Um, 
you know, I, I definitely don't mind the grain. I think it works for this shot. And um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. For me, the T-Max wins uh, with, uh, with these two. Oh, the squirrel. Um, this was a pretty funny moment. He just really kind of posed for me and did not move. So I could show you that the Delta, this squirrel in the shadow, is is very much present and the t-max he's really kind of hiding from us um but but he's there he's we can see him um pretty funny we've got uh some of this uh i don't know what you call it molding of some sort uh, just the interior of these long hallways uh and uh yeah, you know, Delta is sharp, but it, it really is sort of a more um, neutral contrast. Really cool. Uh, this is another great comparison of what T-Max does in the shadows. With the Delta on the left, uh, we can definitely make out, you know, Jacob's eyes here and even the darkest part of his face in this shot. Uh, this shadowy area and compare that to the the T-Max and it's just you just all this loss of detail um, but if you're going for crushed blacks go with T-Max and moving along here you know, somebody uh, you know wrote this inscription here and um, yeah Delta really really bringing out that uh, that Sharpie or whatever was used on this bench, uh, you know, to really help, uh, let it pop. And I, d I definitely uh, find that interesting, how, how these two films of the same speed, uh, high speed 3200 render uh, different tones in, in different ways. And uh, yeah, uh, I think this is the last uh, shot here for this comparison. Uh, again, Delta with the, the, the higher contrast, the, the higher grain in the shadows, but still a very pleasing image. I think um, I, I really like both of these films. Uh, if I had to choose one or recommend one, uh, unless I was working on some sort of street photography project or I just wanted something that was gritty and 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 kind of grimy I would go with the, the T-Max otherwise the the Delta is probably going to be my go-to just because I, I definitely don't want uh, to lose something in the shadows that I you know it gives me the freedom to make it contrasty or leave it as is and if, you know, choosing these higher uh, speed films is great because it allows you to use quicker shutter speeds for capturing action, although I wasn't doing that uh, today, but, you know, that's really what they lend themselves to. Shooting in low light, of course, but it's, it's definitely gonna offer faster shutter speeds when you're out there shooting whatever you're working on, so. I hope y'all enjoyed that and uh, I hope to do more of these videos and keep shooting film. <laughs>